Good morning, fans, Privateer FX. Coming at you here, 11 July, the day after Powell's opening testimony. He'll be testifying again today. Uh, the question and answer needs to be listened to, although there's very little chance he's going to change his tune. He was mildly dovish, I would say. He, you know, he wasn't, he wasn't crazy dovish. He was mildly dovish. But the market got what it wanted, uh, and we saw dollars sell. So it was not the humdinger that we thought it would be, but there was money to be made. And so we're thankful on that. Our horse, Euro dollar, and gold both paid. Um, let's have a look and see what's happening now. Gold here, as you can see, this is the futures. Um, 1426.60, the high has been 29. Um, the at the testimony, it was at 1400. So we're good. We're a good two percent higher. Uh, looks like 1440 is now a certainty, and through that, uh, as you can see, there's loads of more fresh air. So today will be key. We have CPI data out of the U.S. One of the reasons. The Fed is being so cautious uh, is the lack of inflation. So if by some miracle uh, CPI comes in hot today, I see very little chance of that. Um, this will all reverse. Expectation month on month is 0 0.2 um, for the CPI, for core CPI. We also have unemployment claims. And then afterwards, we have more Fed testimony. Let's look at Euro. It's basically the same chart with less with less energy. Uh, Euro's up here at 75. High's been 80. We broke through uh, yesterday's, yesterday's high in Asia. Um, so this is short covering here from the non-farm payrolls. Euro dollar short and the... You know the new f the new ECB chair Lagarde euro dollar short. Uh, this could easily continue on a sort of slow grindy basis. The 200 day is 113.26. Um, but to be fair, we're just mid range here, so there's nothing really to, to shout about. Are we going to make it to the top of the range 114? I don't know. We got to see how CPI comes out today. But core long uh, euro dollar looks to be the way. We're just trading it. We just sold some up here, 77, 79. We're going to be buying 64s and 61s. Um, you know, the original longs yesterday were at 26. So we're just trading this thing now, uh, being open minded. There's many reasons that euro could go lower, logical reasons it could go lower. But the reason we like it higher is because the market is short and the pain um, is up. So gold longs and euro longs still look okay. Dollar yen also got whacked. Uh, we were not a part of this. But again, your mid-range here, I don't know what to say. Um, don't know what to do with dollar yen, euro yen. We're waiting for this trend line here, 120.89. It's not in play today. So our main focus is still on this euro dollar and gold. Now let's look at this uh, ten year ten year treasury. Yesterday we were one twenty seven the figure uh, as he was speaking. He was immediately higher. You could see he was immediately dovish as the algos read the uh, statement in like four seconds or one second. So it was pretty straightforward. Um, that this was not going to break. That said, this now, uh, we still stand by this as a break trade. We are still waiting for the for the news that will jam this thing through. We are now in like even more high alert. Uh, we'll have resting orders here at one at one twenty six twenty seven to get short futures. Uh, if it comes back down, we will not fade this, obviously. If you look at it from the yield side, um, 
and I'm, I'm a little bit loath to do this because it confuses uh, beginners in the market, but this is the yield of the Treasury. Uh, same deal. If this yield gets above 211, uh, we think it has lots of room to retrace all the way back up to 230. Um, so we'll be watching this uh, going forward. Equities, we were screwing around yesterday at 3,000. We squared up at 91. Same uh, same game plan today. Uh, we'll be selling high ones. Uh, so high one today will be 3018 to 3025, and we'll try and just scoop those up on any kind of retrace lower. We don't believe in this move, but we're certainly not going to fight it with any kind of core short. We're just tactically short on the day, fading extreme prices only. So right now we're at the all-time highs. It seems extreme, but on the day, this is this is nothing. This is the middle of the range. So 3018 to 3025, uh, we'll be selling some spoos today. Dollar EM is getting crushed. Um, there will be stops in dollar rand below 1387. We are not going to chase this. Um, dovish dollar is very good for emerging markets. Lower rates is very good for emerging markets. So this will probably set be set to continue. The one uh, interesting uh, chart I think is now dollar max. Um, you know, we had the resignation of the finance minister or the firing, whatever. I don't know who you want to believe, but um, this gets super interesting back below 1887. So it's still a percent and a half away. Um, but as oil goes higher and if the dollar weakness continues, there are plenty out there who are short pesos because of this change in staffing um, at the central bank. But I would contend that everything's going to be fine there. The replacement uh, is was the deputy chief, so it's pretty, you know, it's just a personal ego bullshit thing. Uh, people could get caught here long dollar max, uh, and this is will be their exit. This is the obvious exit, 1887. Um, so we want to watch that level very, very closely. Quickly, one... Just to go back to gold, can't emphasize enough, 1442 or 1441, 50, anywhere above 1440, uh, I think, uh, as the possibility of yielding quite a breakout in gold. This uh, sideways action from 1420 down to 1385 has, you know, took out a lot of the weak longs so the market should be cleaner um, gold looks set for higher but for gold you just want to watch watch interest rates right so if interest rates keep ticking lower gold is your horse euro is your secondary horse um, and these are the two we play until we see this thing turn or interest rates start heading back higher CPI today out of the U.S. is um, super important, so we're going to watch that. Uh, we also have PPI out of the U.S. tomorrow, more inflation indicators. Uh, we have jobless today, and we have a couple of Fed speakers late. Uh, we've got uh, quarrels uh, after Powell testifies, also speaking, but that should be, he's not going to say anything different than what Powell is saying. So the crux of the day is uh, U.S. numbers at 2.30 and then Powell's testimony focusing on the Q&A at 4. Good luck out there, people. Make some dough. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Ciao.